Happy New Year and welcome to the first BAM Weekly Update of 2020. It's January 10th. I'm Mike Stanton. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for being with us. Uh, so we are a little over a week into the new year. In some ways, it's the same as the old year. We have uh, declining interest rate trends and uh, high muni volume. Uh, let's start in the market. What did you see? Sure. Uh, you know, kind of got right back to the swing of things. Uh, fund flows were exceptionally strong, uh, picking up right where they left off last year. So uh, no surprises there, uh, which led to some pretty good uh, muni performance across the board. Deals that were priced did uh, did protected decently well. Uh, we didn't have a crazy supply week, um, but about $8 billion or so came to market between negotiated and competitive. Well, that's a strong start for January, historically. The last couple of years, January's lagged. I think yeah. really going back all the way to 2015, right? Yep. Yeah, strong, uh, strong start. Um, overall, you know, interest rates started to drift higher uh, towards the middle of the week. We got the 10 year up to around a 187 or so, but uh, but that's kind of ground back down. This morning we had uh, some weaker than expected economic numbers, non-farm payrolls, uh, surprised a little bit to the downside. Average hourly earnings came in a little lower than expected, so uh, so the Treasury market was up a little bit, but uh, still a strong economy, 3.5% unemployment, which is flat from December. Still humming along. But uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So as you were pricing transactions on the BAM desk this week, we saw about $140 million of new issues uh, insured. What uh, what were the highlights? Uh, highlight was the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, we were kind of uh, very heavily involved in some Pennsylvania school districts this week uh, on the competitive and the negotiated side. Uh, competitively, Fidelity Capital Markets purchased a $43 million deal for um, uh, Mill Creek Township School District. Uh, also, Janney uh, purchased a deal for uh, Ringgold School District earlier in the week, and RBC came to market negotiated with uh, Catasauqua Area School District in Pennsylvania. So strong, strong performance out of the uh, Commonwealth for uh, for BAM. Very good. So looking ahead to next week, uh, total volumes a little bit lighter, maybe 7.3 billion on the calendar, uh, preliminary calendar right now. What are you looking at? Uh, yeah, we've got uh, you know a little bit uh, a little bit of a slowdown. There's really not too much coming on the competitive side. Uh, more of most of the calendar is negotiated. Uh, BAM's got scheduled to price about 125 million uh, at a minimum, assuming things kind of go according to plan. Uh, we're looking at deals um, uh, on the larger side uh, from Linwood USD in California uh, that's going to be priced uh, as well as the University of Central Arkansas, uh, which will be priced by Cruz and Associates. So I, was, I was looking at that list of transactions, a very geographically diverse group. I think there are 10 states represented, everything from electric power, uh, utility bonds in Kentucky out to the, the school districts in California. So it should be a, an interesting uh, calendar for the coming week. And so beyond the uh, primary market, there's also some interest in secondary market transactions. There's some larger uh, liquid issuers coming to the market uh, that have uh, expressed, where investors have expressed interest. What are you seeing there? Uh, yeah, you know, one of the deals uh, that we were following pretty closely this week was uh, Philadelphia uh, sold some geo bonds in the taxable market, which came uninsured, but uh, but we've been getting some questions uh, and, and some follow through uh, on the secondary side. And then for the coming week, uh, say Chicago is going to be part of the... Yeah, Chicago, uh, will be in the market with a large geo sale as well as a sales tax securitization uh, deal. Uh, we've been in conversation with Goldman Sachs regarding the sales tax deal. Um, so we're waiting to see how that, that things shake out. And that's a combination of investors either who are buying the uh, new issue and want to apply insurance to it right away or who have existing holdings from the same issue and may want to add insurance to them in the secondary market as right. part of their uh, portfolio management strategies. Mm -hmm. So very good. Good luck uh, with the coming week. Thanks for watching. If you want the full list of BAM's upcoming transactions delivered to your inbox every Monday, please click on the link below and register for our weekly e-newsletter. And have a great week. We'll see you next week. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes. Double A guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM. 